Welcome to Travels Uncorked. This is Eric, and we're in the Redwoods today. Bird Johnson Grove on the Northern California coast, home of the tallest trees in the world. Going up. Today, you might think that we're on the set of Lord of the Rings somewhere, hanging among the mist and big exotic trees, but we're actually on Humboldt County. And we are amongst the giant redwoods today. They're part of the sequoia family, and these are a fast growing species. We're so glad that these have been preserved for our generation and future generations to come. So we just parked in the parking lot and this is the bridge that we take over to the trail which is just a little over a mile long and it goes in a nice loop so you're not seeing the same thing twice and what's also nice is there's not a big elevation change in the loop and so this isn't uh, this is a novice trail you don't have to be an advanced hiker no gear required other than maybe some good walking shoes actually a bathroom so after you've made a little jaunt up the highway one the coastal highway here this trail that we're on is just a little over a mile long and then you go in this nice loop through the redwoods through the ferns through the giant clovers and really enjoy this whole panoramic view that you have and if you're lucky to come in the morning like this you'll actually see the mist lifting through the redwoods which I think is a special extra treat Ancient trees are amazing to walk through. We're taking a morning stroll here through Lady Bird Johnson Grove. This is actually dedicated as a protected area in 1969 uh, with help by Richard Nixon in honor of a conservationist uh, in the area that was protecting these trees. When it was first founded, there was a lot of mining happening in Northern California, obviously, in the mid 1800s through the early 1900s, and then the logging industry followed that. And so a lot of these ginormous trees, these tallest trees in the world were getting completely wiped out what's called clear cut where they weren't leaving anything at all remaining and so now there were measures taken in place at that time to protect those of many many years ago so people can enjoy them now and for future generations to come Because these trees have been here so long, they've experienced and seen so much in their lifetimes and many of them have experienced fires and so you can even see that this tree is alive and well that I'm in here in between but the inside of it has been significantly burnt more than one time and yet it still remains on and nature prevails but uh, it does give you a unique perspective even though you've had the damage of the fire it does give you a unique perspective to see the fire and how it's gone all the way up inside this tree come take a look
giant, are these giant redwood trees? Well, the redwoods are a type of sequoia tree. And so these are giant sequoia family trees. And these can actually grow more than 30 feet wide in diameter and 250 to 300 feet or even more than that tall. Think about that. That's like a football field tall and it's a tree. So think about that. How fast do these trees have to grow in order to get over 300 feet tall? Well, even when they're really young, adolescent trees, they're growing at a rate of about four feet a year. And then they can actually grow much more than that, many more feet a year as they get older and older. So actually the older that they, that they get to a certain point, the faster these trees actually grow. But imagine that, imagine if we grew four feet a year, how tall we would be by the end of our lives. Any day you can spend out here in Lady Bird Johnson is a good day. So thanks for joining us on our morning venture around Lady Bird Johnson Grove here in very far northern California coast. We hope you learned a few things about these redwood species as part of the giant sequoia family. If you're interested in more videos from Travels Uncorked, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you tap that like button and even share this video with somebody else who might enjoy visiting the giant sequoias with you. Until next time, this is Eric and thanks for being part of Travels Uncorked.